Let's go over here. This comes off from Niche Gamer right over here. There it is. All right. And it says Stellar Blade censorship acknowledged by Shift Up. So um, if you have, um, Krista, do you know, you, you don't know too much about the story about what's happening with Shift Up and Stellar Blade, do you? Not really. But if you, you know, you could explain it and maybe I could uh, understand it a little. Okay. So um, this game was highly anticipated by all the, I guess the gooners and coomers, <laughs> my, I guess myself <laughs> included. And uh, we're like, because when this game dropped uh, separate, like when they announced it, like almost two years ago, it was called Project Eve. And everyone was like, oh, what is this? And mm. it's by the people who made Nikkei. And okay. that is a mobile game that shows a lot of um, very pretty anime girls with big posteriors. When they're mm. shooting, they're, um, they're shooting their guns. And then there's a lot of jiggle physics. <laughs> in, uh, okay. in right. So they they made a game and uh, it, everyone's super, super excited. Four days ago, four, I think four to five days ago um, on the official Stellar Blade uh, Twitter, they said that this game is going to be uncensored for every version of the game. Mm. Like not every version, every um, every launch, like wherever country you're located. Okay. Um, and then once the embargo lifted, they found out that the hard R was in the game. So they ended up mm. changing that. And then a lot um after when people started reviewing it and people got early copies they found out that a lot of costumes were changed oh wow okay yeah and um. this is and and stellar blade like the 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 what's it called the director didn't really acknowledge it until like recently mm, so okay. it's it, yeah so basically that's what's going on and then uh, there's a way for you to actually get the version of the game without the patch it's because it's a day one patch of the mm. game but yeah so, that, so that's mm. basically it right now. And there's a lot of controversy going on back and forth and, you know, but. I see. Okay. Yeah. All mm. right. So let's go ahead and read this right up here. Uh, yesterday, fans came forward surprised to see different versions of the holiday rabbit costume uh, in Stellar Blade as a result of the accusations and misinformation overtook the discourse. The first designs of the censorship in Stellar Blade appeared online when users who received physical editions, which I, I do have. So here's the I thing. Do, I, I, bought, I do too. I do too. So here's the thing. I double dipped. I bought the digital deluxe version like almost two months ago. And then I found out about a censorship and I bought this yesterday. I went out and bought the physical one yesterday. So I'm like, okay, I, I need the physical version. So uh so the holiday rabbit office was different in uh, after the game was patched. This was later thought to be a possible hoax after footage before the day one patch showed the censored outfit. So let me actually bring up the censored outfit. Uh, I don't think I have the actual censored uh, outfit. Maybe right over here. There it is. So so this is the censored version right over here. Hmm. Uh, okay. So do you see anything wrong with this? There's nothing wrong with this, right? I think, I, I think it looks fine as is. So, uh, but the original one... Are they like, they're covering her cleavage, I guess? Yeah, yeah so this right still right black lace the area. Uh, yeah. yeah, I noticed that. Mm, so this lace right over here in the middle, and you see this extra seam right over here? Oh, okay, yeah. That was they, added. They, they put it down. Hmm. Yeah, so, th so that's what he did. And a lot of people was like, it's, it's like, at least acknowledge it. And it's not because like we're, you know, a bunch of horny people. <laughs> online who want to watch like hot women I, 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 and i think a lot of women like watching hot women as well um but the thing is is the principle yeah the principle of, uh, of the fact that they they did it and you know four days ago saying that they're they're not going to do it so right. uh yeah so, so what are your thoughts on on censorship uh for for the matter i mean i thought i mean i think that's pretty ridiculous if you remove like the parts that they covered i mean that's pretty much a kim kardashian outfit right there you know that's something that you see everywhere you know and what's the point like what's the problem if it's in video games you know it's all over instagram you see it everywhere i think it's nonsense in my opinion yeah what about you gray like from a person who you know who lives outside the u.s like how how do you feel about censorship and what they're doing with stellar blade yeah it's it's okay to have that design but it's the way you marketed this game that your your main character is very sexual, very attractive. So the fact that you're kind of taking that away when people already bought your game. So it's not really a good look for you, even though if, let's say, your mother company, like Sony, was the one who forced you to do this. Like, it's mm -hmm. not a good look. Yeah, at least make a statement about it saying, um, sta saying that it is happening. And hopefully hopefully behind the scenes they're reconsidering um taking it back maybe or making another two versions of that same outfit at the very least but yeah. yeah yeah it's i i think it's more of a sony thing mandating them since sony's the one who paid them to, to to be to be able to develop this game because i just before we we went we went live i was watching asmongold's video 
and he made a very an excellent point that it's very very likely it's Sony who mandated this over, compared to Shift Up because we have to remember Shift Up is the ones who developed Nikkei. So I'll bring you developed- Nikkei and, and an image of Nikkei for for Krista just in case. <laughs> for and, and of course we're going to share with the classroom. <laughs> but continue, sorry. Yeah, if you developed a game like Nikkei, you, you definitely developed. Um, you definitely had the original Eve costumes in mind, not this censorship. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and, and this is actually very tame. Like what we're showing yeah. now is very tame. Right, right. So, but yeah. Okay, so, so like, they it, developed it, this. Mm-hmm. They are, okay, this is okay. the original game. Oh wow! This is the, okay, this is the okay, game okay. that put them on the map, and then, mm. um, and then they, and, and then they got enough money and funding to do Stellar Blade. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> this looks mm. like an anime. I totally watch. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny. I actually, um, I when I played the game, um, the first fifteen minutes actually like made me very sad. I almost cried. Really? And it's it's from oh. an anime game. It's because it's from a character that like, like I'm not sure if you're ever gonna play it, but like. One of the characters that you that saves you in the beginning, that trusts you in the beginning, like you have to like, you have to put her down, like and, uh, and all of these, all of these things are these Nikkei's. They, these are all robots. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they're all oh, robots. Wow. And wow. So what happens? Like one of them is like got one of them got corrupted, and then like like she's the one who's like you know she saved you and, mm. and she believed in you, and then you you're the one who had to put her down because she got corrupted, and then you, oh. it's sort of like damn, that's like the first. Yeah. Oh, it hits you in the in the heart. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. But yeah, oh. uh, but let's continue right over here. See, uh, what appears to be the case is the review is also. Oh, sorry, I think we read that one already. Yeah. Uh, so right over here, patch uh one point zero one patch opposed to the game that was shipped. The transitional patch between the original game and a day one is uh one zero two. Um, this is actually um not correct. It's actually one point zero 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 versus one point zero zero two. So this is actually not. This is actually not one hundred percent correct. Right over here, uh, the information about this uncensored uh, outfit. It came individuals who received the physical editions early and played the game unpatched with the time meant that it was dif- uh, that was difficult to verify. Uh, an hour since Stellar Blade became available, more users have begun speaking up about the censorship and have been uploading videos of the uncensored outfits. There is also footage of the director of Stellar Blade uh, allegedly acknowledging the censorship in the last patch of the game when as he gives a candid response claiming that the censored version is the intended version. But in my opinion, it seems like a very Sony response. Yeah, I, I guarantee yeah, this is 100% Sony. Uh, but yeah, the, the thing is that it's not only that, there's also other costumes that's been censored as well. So right over here, here's an uh, here's another one. Let me actually we can z- open a new tab so we can zoom in more. So right over here, um, the, the part that was censored for this outfit right over here is actually the chest area. So the, over here oh. has been censored. Right over here. And this was the bunny outfit, of course. They sort of made it, um, they removed the that uh, they added the hips right over there, and mm. um, the thing is that this one is actually live in game, Gray. Like it, it, if if you didn't know, so here's another one. So this is the chi- This is the Chinese dress, and this is the original oh, one. Oh yeah, the yeah, one- yeah. There's pa- there's pants. Yeah. Yeah, I and this pants. one had yeah. This one has st- uh, leggings. Oh, they added leggings. Oh, yeah, and th- and here's the thing. I have the unpatched version. Gray has the patched version. Oh wow. And mine has leggings too. So it huh. made it in. Huh. And another one is oh. this one. Gray, is yours? Is the boob area? Is that does that have like that chiffon? Yeah, or yeah, that? yeah. It oh, does, like that it does. niche. Yeah, it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So this one doesn't. The original one doesn't. So it's it, it it's this patched version somehow made it into the unpatched version, which is crazy as well. But uh, yeah, I hmm. I'm not, like if you came out and said, you know what, um, yeah, if it, if they didn't have that tweet to saying that there's. It's going to be completely uncensored. I don't think anyone would bat it an eye. You'd just be like, oh, it looks like it's different. Oh, censorship, censorship, yada, yada, yada. But it's the principle, right? And that's the reason why Grums, uh, Mark Kern, I, I believe uh, he also showed up on Geeks and Gamers Tuesday's night uh, main event, mm-hmm. I believe. And uh, he started a change.org. And if you guys want to, I'll share it in the chat right over here. And there's a change.org right now. It says hashtag free stellar blade. And it has almost... Uh, 27,000 signatures. Wow. I actually signed with my own personal account. Amazing. But yeah, um, and the reason why we want to um, be nice and cordial about it, like to Sony and well, Sony is a little different, but to Stellar Blade and ship, people that ship up is because they're the one who actually wants to do it. And the reason why is because uh, wasn't there a, um, didn't they revert some of the 
some of the what's it called Tomb Raider remastered stuff, Gray? Yeah, yeah. If the um for those who don't know, uh the Tomb Raider remastered, there was a controversy last week or the last two weeks. They removed the Lara Croft pinups in one of the levels where she she's a bit of a risk. She's actually not wearing it. She's just covered up in, in the posters. For mm. in the latest patch, it was removed for some reason. But Ooh. fortunately, the latest patch, they brought it back. They said um the statement was they inadvertently removed it. But I think it was eating their their sales. That's why. That's like okay, fine. <laughs> Let's put it back in. That's the reality yeah. of it. But yeah, I, I hope I hope the same for Stellar Blade. At least make it like version one and version two of the outfits to appease both audiences. That's yeah. how I would do it. And the thing is that like it, these people online are unhinged, and you know, we've been online for some times now. And the thing is that I, I'm gonna bring up some videos that I posted that has garnered a good amount of views for my following. And um, but yet, but uh, Mark, uh, 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 Mark Kern, um, Grums has been receiving uh, some, some uh, threats against his life. And uh, this is from that Park Place. Like, evil individual places twenty thousand dollar bounty on Grums, aka Mark Kern, for a beginning campaign to uncensor Stellar Blade. So this is pretty nuts, right? He put this oh, out, yeah. and um, I believe I responded to this person. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I said, uh, right over here, uh, you know how simple it is for cops to subpoena your IP address since this is a death threat. Mm -hmm. And if you actually scroll up, oh, the, the tool oh, is and God. the user is no longer on X. Of course. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's, it's you know, it's illegal, right? And 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 the thing is that there's a lot of hypocrisy going on. How people who are like who are pro censorship, uh, against censorship, who are like, I don't know, like, um, Krista, did you? I'm assuming you probably didn't play Baldur's Gate three, or did you play Baldur's Gate three? No, I haven't. Unfortunately, I'm such a noob when it comes to these sort of games. Like, I'm more of a Nintendo girl. That's all I really know and live <laughs> and breathe for. I mean, like, hence, like, <laughs> my background right. and stuff. The only thing that I haven't really played, like, related to Nintendo, is Call of Duty. Um, okay. Oh, and don't you? Play, you're pretty good at uh, Fortnite what's it called again. Fortnite too. Uh, so. Ironically, I played on the Switch, so it's like in my head, it's <laughs> like a, a Nintendo game, but it's not. Um, but yeah, Fortnite. Even though you know it's been a while since we played it, but yeah, I think those are the only two really. And uh, Among mm -hmm. Us. Oh, and Party Animals. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Party Animals. But no, I haven't played and, uh, Boulder's Gate. No. So th there are a lot of people who are doing comparisons, right? Because you have games like Boulder's Gate, mm -hmm. The Last of Us 2, and a bunch of other games that came out on Sony that was completely uncensored. I believe mm -hmm. the reason why they did it, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, is because they, they the characters that are in those games are part of the alphabet group, the LGBTQIA oh. group, mm -hmm. like in one way or another, right? Uh, Last mm -hmm. of Us 2, Boulder's Gate, and a bunch of these other games have characters that are part of that group. This game does not. As of mm -hmm. right now, Gray, you're a lot further than I am. Are there any LGBTQ characters in the game? Nah, not that I know of. Now, no. I think that's the reason why. Now, if the main character, Eve, and she was some kind of like uh, non binary since she's a robot, anyways, or uh, Adam or Lily is a part of, you know, either gay or lesbian or trans or something like that, I think the game would have not been censored at all. Right. The reason why I break that up is because we have people who are like, uh, right over here, Stellar Blade puts Eve in some incredibly stupid, sexy outfits that hurts the game's story. But despite the forced sex appeal, I actually love her detailed design by Austin Wood. And then here's another one by Austin Wood. The Baldur's Gate 3 patch notes didn't mention that the most important change, but players for sure found it. Uh, penis P -P. Yeah. P -P Wait, what? Physics. Where? Yeah. Uh, in Baldur's Gate... Baldur's Gate half surprisingly has a lot of um PP sliders. There's no oh. booba sliders. Oh. And there um there's one that you can have an aardvark and the one that you can have it uh you know tips gone. So it's 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 crazy. Oh. I it's uh yeah, it's 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 I I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bringing it up. You guys didn't want to see that. You guys didn't want me to talk about it, but it is what it is. But we have to point out the hypocrisy. Over it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, uh, but it's yeah. I, I think this whole Stellar Blade thing is is crazy. And mm. the, like, a, a, am I going to like patch it eventually? Probably because I want to play the new game plus. Mm. But um. But overall, um. What are your takes on this, Krista? Like, how, how do you feel overall with the, you know, given person who hasn't played the game yet or 
not going to be playing the game. How yeah, do you feel? I mean, well, look, uh, people are loving it that I know who I, I'm sure I think you guys do you like it so far? Like, how's the I, game? I like it. Yeah, you I like, like it? it? Okay. I yeah, mean, like, when I first saw it coming out, I thought, oh, my gosh, like, cool chick, you know, like, it's great to see a character that you know, you aspire that you want to be right. Rather than seeing nowadays, they put out these games where like we were just mentioning where, you know, they cater to the LGBT and the, the woke mob. And it's just, it's so refreshing to see a game like this where, you know, it's a attractive woman and it's like, I want to be like her. And it sucks that they have the censored stuff to it where it's like, no, like unleash it, you know, like take all that off. It's just, it's nonsense. And I, hopefully they do, but that's my stance on it. As far as like that and the thumbnails I've been making, <laughs> that's as far as like I know <laughs> with it, but you know, uh, the, the, the feedback that, you know, my friends and people like they're, they're loving the game. So I'm happy for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Matt, Gray, I, uh, are you going to get that? So you said that if you collect all 49 cans, soda cans, you get yeah. a super you, hot bikini did you, outfit. Did you see the outfit? Have you seen? The I have outfit? not seen it. Yeah, I, just you, go ahead and private chat it and then I'll bring I'll bring it up. Okay. It's, as, it should be safe for work. We should be able to show it, right? We should be able to yeah. yeah, it's one of the, yeah. I, I really want it. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.